Once upon a time, Elon Musk was a game dev. And now he's a billionaire. So here I am with a dream. I recreated the game he sold when he was 12 years old with a twist. This is how it went. I started out by playing the online remake of his game Blastar. It was very simple. Use the arrow keys to move and the space bar to shoot. The mission is to destroy the alien ship carrying hydrogen bombs and status beam machines. The pacing was a bit slow and the graphic design was wonky but we can let that slide as it was made in 1984. The first thing I do when I remake games is open up Photoshop 7, which was released in 2002. That makes it older than a lot of people watching this video. People usually laugh at me for this, but this time it fits the retro aesthetic. I downloaded the original sprites and added my own twist to each, and I think I did a pretty good job. They were small for now, but I could scale them up in the program later. Now you may be asking, what could I possibly use to make this game? JavaScript? Unity? Unreal Engine? Well, the answer is none of the above. This game will be made without a game engine, with the best language in the world. He even says it's his favorite language. While C is not usually associated with game dev, it has to work for this project because I am coding for a TI-84 calculator. But in any case, displaying sprites is easy. Interacting with them is where the problems start. With the libraries linked below, I can easily check when the arrow keys are pressed. And with movement out of the way, I could focus on the main gameplay. In my remake, there will be two ways to die. You can either get hit by a projectile, or smash into the alien ship. You can also smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, it helps out a lot. I thought the ships colliding would be the easiest, so I started writing code for it. Then. I realized I had to use the M word. Math. Luckily, getting the distance between two objects is pretty easy. But instead of reinventing the wheel, I went over to the Agario program I made a while ago. With the player gameplay done, it was time to work on the enemy mechanics. Unlike the player, the enemy can only move horizontally but it makes up for this weakness by shooting status beams that stun the player. While I was adding all of these new features, I added in a new sprite that would show up whenever the players died. It looks great, but it completely messed up the color palette. The screen was turning different colors, and the other sprites lost their transparency. I eventually realized that there were too many color variants in the sprite, and remade it. With that said, I think it's time that we play it ourselves. Blastar by E.R. Musk, recreated by me, Everyday Code. Let's begin. This project was short and sweet. It took a lot of tweaking, but I'm satisfied with how it turned out. If any Tesla employees are watching, consider this part of the interview. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe and comment what I should code next. Also, follow me on Twitter where I post project updates so there's a chance that Elon himself sees this. It's everyday code for everyday people. Thanks for watching.